In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's very little that's mentioned in the Gospels between the birth of Christ and the baptism of Christ. Indeed, we heard most of it today. We heard that he grew in wisdom and stature. Um, there's, there is the, um, a recounting of an event where um, Jesus and his parents, along with his family, went to Jerusalem. But other than that, today is most of what we know. The simple reason being that this is what is necessary for our salvation. Uh, we may want more and more details. And that's, that's a natural wish to want more details. But this is what we've been given and this is what is necessary for our salvation. One of the prophecies that we hear today is one that, we're, that I think that we're all quite familiar with. We're quite familiar with, the, with a particular uh, couple of lines in our vigil service, in the Vespers component of the vigil service. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. Those words spoken by, um, by the righteous Simeon. And one of the things we heard in the Synexarium about um, much more about this, and there's nothing I need to add. But I want to highlight the last lines. That Jesus is the light. Now he says this about himself later on. But already, child's 40 days old, younger than our children here, and already he's being called the light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of of thy people Israel. A light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. This, this particular people is who we hear about in the Old Testament. To be the glory of this, of this people. And he is. He remains the glory of an entire people group remains this glory because this is what God had always intended. That out of this chosen people, this priesthood of all humanity, would arise the Messiah. That this Messiah is the Son of God. And from this people, the, the news would go out to the Gentiles. The news would go out to all of us the news will go out to the non-Jews that we too may be saved that our lives may be enlightened by his life by his teachings by those who follow him that we may be grafted in to God's chosen people when you're grafted in that's a very permanent change take on some even some characteristics of, um, of that which you are grafted into. And so from all the ethnicities, from all the people groups, from, from everywhere, from every people that we see in this multicultural land, we see people who have taken on our Lord's teaching. People who have been enlightened by that light, enlightened by the, by the glory of Israel. It's amazing that this, uh, that this was prophesied about very early on, very early on in his life. And our responsibility is to continue that. That not only is it an event 40 years after birth, but it is something that we take on that we, being part of the body of Christ, what does this mean? But that we continue this. We continue this prophecy to wherever we are. That not only may every people group be represented, but that every people group may be sanctified, may be glorified, may be returned to our Creator. 
May he help us as we strive to follow in this incredible task. Amen.